not a lot of games get this much recognition, but Little Nightmares has a sequel, which the sequel is fucking, in my opinion, I think it's way better than the first one. Eh, kind of, but if it had to be between Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2, it's a very hard pick. But, uh, so this game does not pick up right after the first one. It actually takes place before the first one, because 6 is actually, well, you play as this character called Mono, and 6 is actually a girl trapped in a house, and Mono frees her, then they go on his, um, adventure and they meet this hunter guy and he tries at least he tries killing them because I don't fucking know why uh, then they make it to the school and then these fucking retarded kids and this fucking long neck fucking teacher tries killing them or capturing them but eventually six is captured by the fucking kids Mom has to go save her by Carrying a fucking hammer and shit. It's a whole fucking thing. But then after that, they make it to this weird, I think, hospital. Yeah, the hospital. And then, there's this one part where a bunch of hands start coming out and shit. You have to dodge it, which is very fucking hard to do. Because, why well, would it not be? But, made me rage over that a couple times. But, then eventually they run into this fat guy. And if the fat guy catches you, you actually, he eats you, I guess. Then eventually they end up cooking him, which takes a fucking weird turn and shit. But, um, after that they make it to the, to the town, which is the final of all of it. And Mono and Six run into these weird people that are attracted to the TV. And, uh. They eventually, my own six eventually runs into this tall man, but six ends up getting um, trapped in the TV. So my own tries freeing her, but the tall man comes out. Then they're on they're on the train and shit. And there's a boss. There's like a battle between them. Then at the very end of the game, you go to this fucking weird place with the door with the eye on it. Then you um, encounter six, but she's fucking giant. But the only way to get rid of that is um, hitting the fucking thing over and over again. Whatever you call it. Music box. That very, then eventually at the very end of the game, they're running. Then Mom makes a jump for it. But Six fucking lets go. Because she doesn't feel something's right. And then it just and Well, it doesn't end the game, but Six ends up walking away. But Mono falls. Um, Mono falls. Then they're in, he's in this fucking weird gut place. Then he gets on top of his chair, and then you see the transition, him from going to a child to an adult. Then eventually, you figure out he's actually a tall man, which is very fucking twisted. It's a fucking weird ending, and you have a lot of questions in your mind. What? Crap, it's like I forgot to turn it on. How do you do that? It's a side button. Okay. Sorry about that. So, the ending is your dumb tall guy. And you're asking yourself questions. How the fuck are you a tall man? And my theory is, uh, well, I don't know whoever got this from. I'm just saying it for fucking reasons. Um, the tall man, when you first encounter him, I think he was trying to tell Mono, or trying to capture him, no, I think he was trying to capture Six from Mono because he doesn't want Six betraying him, well, little Mono, if you know what I mean, so it's like, his future self warning his past self, if you understand. But 
at the very end, you get a secret ending. Well, if you find all the glitch things, which is throughout the game, and if you find those, you get a secret ending, where there's, like, a dark spirit of fucking six, and it transitions her into being hungry. And that's how she becomes fucking evil. So, so many questions for the fucking game. I don't know. It's a weird game. The second one, but they are done making these um, games, which I wish they would make a third one. But they, I can't. I guess they don't want to. But overall, the game is fucking good. The ending's perfect. Well, not the ending. It kind of sucks because Mono got betrayed by Six. But overall, the game's good. Levels are good. But um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. See ya.